JuniorLibrarian.net is a fully web-based library management system, meaning it can be accessed from any web browser, giving anywhere, anytime access, at school or at home. It is also a self-service system which helps build children's confidence in using ICT, develop a culture of independent learning and enable access to resources across the whole of the curriculum. With Ofsted now increasing their focus on the teaching of reading and literacy in primary schools, the system plays an essential role in providing you with the management information you need to do evidence the progress being made in your school. I'm now going to take you through a short demonstration. This is the JuniorLibrarian.net Classic homepage. This is the first page to be seen by any user when they access the software. Junior Librarian is supplied with Digital Readit. This is a library information skills package designed to help teachers plan library lessons through providing activity sheets, extension activities and even lesson plans. So let's look at a few features. First we will click here to access the details of the most recently catalogued resources within your school. You can click on an item of interest at any time which will bring up further information about that resource. Where this is a book, this can include a summary of the book, a book image and even a Meet the Author video clip if one is available. These author videos are one of the most engaging elements of Junior Librarian as the children really love seeing the author talking about that particular book. Listening to authors talk is one of the best ways of engaging children with books and whilst planning author visits can be time consuming, Junior Librarian makes them instantly available on every PC in your school. As well as all of this, you can also access reviews written by other students, other resources which you have linked to this item, and details of other resources which may be of interest. In this area of the system, you can also place items into My Stuff. This is like the student's own mini library collection. They can also write a review and even reserve an item. We will now return to the home page. Here, students access My Stuff to see that sublist of resources that they have built up. Moving across, we have the most popular resources within your school. This is a great way of promoting your resources to students and staff. The engaging graphics which display your most popular resources and recently added books can also be integrated for free into your learning platform. We also have a news feature. News items are simple and straightforward to create and schools often include details of forthcoming events and other information useful to parents and students alike who can also access the software from home. Once logged into the system you can also click on the settings tab. This enables you to customise the home page specifically for you, changing any themes or the background to create a more personalised learning environment. So let's look at inquiry. When it comes to searching within Junior Librarian, we have something for everybody. We have picture searching. These are pre-prepared searches ready to use. Simply click on the picture to carry out the search. We have A to Z searching. Useful if a student wants to search for a particular author, title, genre or maybe a series. We have views. You can build your own collection of customised picture searches. These are great for popular searches or termly topics such as the Romans taking place in school. Junior Librarian also integrates with Accelerated Reader from Renaissance Learning. I have created a page view for this. Clicking on this view icon displays all of the books within my library with an Accelerated Reader quiz available. As in all of the searches, the number of resources are listed here on the left. The number of pages are listed here along the bottom. And once again, you can access a record card at any time by clicking within the search. There is even a floor plan facility available to identify where the item is kept. Next, we have the cloud. A nice engaging way of displaying what other pupils have been searching for within the system. Click on any of the words to bring up the results for that search. We then have the wheel. Click in the centre of the wheel to make a random subject selection if you are undecided of what to read. This can tie in nicely with Accelerated Reader, allowing you to select items from a particular level. When the wheel stops, you can then select the item from the results that are displayed. And finally, 
we have an advanced search facility. This gives you the ability to refine a search using Boolean logic. This is great for developing information literacy skills for your students. There is also a simple search bar which will always be available at the top right hand corner of the home page allowing users to complete a simple search by typing in, for example, a keyword or topic title. As Junior Librarian is a self-service system, the students can easily issue and return their own books by simply scanning the barcodes themselves. Let's do this by going to Circulate. We scan the barcode label inside of the book. Students can identify themselves in one of three ways, either with an individual PIN number, barcoded bookmark or by using Identikit, which is the optional biometric fingerprint scanner. As you can imagine, the last option of the fingerprint scanner really grabs the children's attention by bringing in the latest technology. Great for getting boys into the library. To return a book, simply scan the book back in. There is also a multi-issue and multi-return facility, making the issue and returning of large numbers of resources quick and easy. Now let's click on Reviews. This is where the student goes to write reviews on resources. They will be required to sign in to identify themselves as they did when we issued a book. From here you can select a resource and write a review or simply give it a star rating. Reviews can't be seen by anyone else until they have been approved by an authorised person within the management side of the software. Teachers tell us that when a pupil has reviewed an item, this encourages their peers to read the book as well, increasing reading participation within the school. Now you're probably wondering how difficult all of this is to set up. Well remember, because Junior Librarian is hosted by MLS, you don't even have to install it, as we set up and maintain the site for you. To show you how easy the rest of it is, let's go into Librarian only to access the management side of the system. This is password protected, however, I have already signed in. You will see the main database is listed here on the left hand side, and the tools within each database are listed here on the right. So let's look at this resources database. The resources are colour coded. Black would mean the resource is available, blue is on loan, green means it is reserved, and red would mean it is overdue. When it comes to cataloguing a resource, nothing could be easier. We click on Add over here, and you can see you can catalogue a number of different resource types, not only books, but also films, hardware such as laptops and digital cameras, and even musical instruments. This is great for asset management and tracking all of your resources throughout the school, and lots of our existing schools use it for reading scheme books too. So let's catalogue a book. We click on the book icon, we scan the barcode label you have assigned to that book. We supply these with the system. You then scan the ISBN on the back of the book. Our online database in most cases will automatically fill in book details such as the author, the title, the class and some suggested keywords for you. It will also provide you with a summary, a photograph of that book and you can even add a floor plan. This can be of your library or of your school site, but it's just to indicate where that resource is kept. And then when you have done, you click Save. And that's how easy it can be. It's so simple you don't even have to add all of your resources catalogued before you start using the system. You can add the additional items as you go along. Moving down the databases, we then have the borrowers database. This is where the user information is held for both staff and students. The beauty of Junior Librarian is that all of your student information can be automatically imported from your administration system so you can start using the system straight away. From here you are able to track and review your student's loan information which acts as a reading record for every child. In current loans we can see all of the resources currently out on loan and when they are due back. In past loans, here we can view all of the resources issued by the individual student or a member of staff since they joined your school. 
There is also a database to manage reservations and one to approve those book reviews. Junior Librarian also has a scheduler. This has been designed to take care of some of the regular tasks that need to be carried out, such as overdue reminders. These can be scheduled to occur on a weekly, fortnightly or monthly basis. They can be printed, emails or even sent by a text message. All of this saving you valuable time. Junior Librarian also enables you to schedule regular imports of other data, such as web links. These provide your school with thousands of pre-approved educational websites linked to your books and other resources. Schools often tell us, whereas their students can use Google or other search engines for research, the results may return are rarely pertinent to their project work. By using web links, teachers can be confident that their students are accessing safe, vetted websites with curriculum relevant results, enabling students to research a topic much more effectively. The system also links with ITV Sign Stories. This will allow you to import all of their signed storybooks. This is great for developing literacy in deaf children and the videos are also a great way of engaging all of your younger children. If you use Accelerated Reader, you can also import their master quiz list to show which books in your library have a quiz available. You also have the facility to print labels for your Accelerated Reader resources. Finally, Junior Librarian automatically analyses and compiles data on the trends within your school. Statistics can be produced using the page views function within each database, over here, or there is a report facility with predefined reports ready to use. For example, we have the top 10 most popular books by gender, the value of stock by owner, top readers within your school, and there is even a report which you can give to the school inspectors showing them how to track your reading development in your school. You select the report and you click run. It will require date parameters. You are then presented with all the report information that is required. Here we have listed the school inspection report, which is nice and detailed with everything that they should require. While we have covered the main features, this demonstration is only intended as an overview. Junior Librarian continues to be developed and enhanced with new features being added on a regular basis. There are even alternative interfaces which can be selected to make using the system a more personalised experience for each student. Thank you for listening. If you require any further information, please do not hesitate to contact one of our team on 0161 449 9357 or via our website.